All right, we're here at 310 Hickory Street in Plant City doing a sewer inspection. Right now we're in the laundry line just at the base of the stack. Go ahead and push through and see if we can see anything going on here. The line is really gummed up. This also shares the kitchen sink line, so it's terribly greasy. Trying to get some of that grease off so we can actually see what we're looking at. As soon as I hit that mush, we're not going to be able to see anything again. I can't exactly tell if that pipe is rotten out. The glare on the roof here, I can't really see much of anything. That would be the top side of the pipe. farther I try to push into that, the more we don't get to see. I'm going to try another line here. This may be why there's a line going outside of the house for the washing machine. Probably too much water going through there at one time in order to drain. So all that grease is backed up in there. Again, I can't tell if that's... Uh, a hole in the top of the pipe or not just from the, the glare up here we'll go shoot through another drain see what else we can see so here we are at the base of the stack in the front little bathroom now some roaches Let's see if we can find anything useful A combo there. Looks like a shell.
42 feet here. We obviously trans transition into PVC. Let's see if I can figure out where that's at. Okay, so right here we are in the front yard in this PVC pipe. I've got it marked where it comes out of the house here. So I'm going to pull back nice and slow and make sure that all of this just scale and not broken cast iron pipe. That looks like it's probably the original clean out right there. There's definitely a ton of scale and debris in this line. I would definitely suggest having it jetted. All that debris from sitting dormant for a while will certainly cause a backup. Coming up the vent stack now. And our last one is over the main vent stack. We'll drop down through that one next. Alright, we're in the base of the main stack. Catching a combo for the toilet here, I'm sure. Got a snail. More seashells. More and more seashells. More of our roachy friends. Looks like that clean out again. Yeah, that's the scale. Here we are in the main pipe going out to the street. Dive 
diving down here. Looks like we'll be going to the street side of the sewer here. Hey, you can see that down at the bottom. We're headed out to the street. I'll go mark this where where it's out towards the street. Alright, so this sewer pipe looks like it's all been replaced from the front of the house out to the street. It runs from just the left side of the front door diagonally across the yard out to the right front of the house if you're facing the house. And I've got both where it comes out of the house and where it goes into the street marked with a green spot on the ground. So this line look, did look like it had a little belly in it as we were pushing through. So I'll mark that out as well. I'll mark this spot here as the end of the belly. And here I'll mark the beginning of the belly. Alright, so we got all that marked out. So I would say we get this line jetted. Get all that rust and debris out of the line. And a two-way clean-out installed. Then we can re-camera and definitely get a good line of sight on that kitchen line and make sure that it's just grease back up and there's not any issues with the pipe itself. And I'm Jeremy with iFind Leaks. Thanks for watching.